This is me today, day 10. This has been um, a weird, yeah, kind of a weird um, Facebook live challenge. This is me t today, a live challenge for me this, uh, this time around. Um, I've been really emotional in one of them and yesterday I I, sh I probably should just have said I'm too tired to think straight um, and certainly too tired to um, to speak in um, in a sensible way but today today is much better today um, I'm back in the mountain. I haven't been hiking. I just drove up here and then uh, I walked for about 10 minutes probably but um, I'm once again in the meadow with the horses. Maybe you can hear some cowbells. I don't know if you can see the cows but they are just below that ice field up there. The horses are to my left for the viewers to the right and I love this there's a stag somewhere up high in those mountains behind me. Let me show you. Let me see if I can show you. Hang on. Not the stag, but the mountains. Because the stag up there somewhere. Somewhere way up high. I could hear him. It's mating season. And every now and again, maybe he'll call out while we're doing this. I don't know if you can then hear him or if the phone will pick it up. But... It's quite special when you hear that sound. The first time I heard it, it felt, I thought I was hearing a bear or something. I'd never heard it before. It's, uh, well, it's, I guess, a, a, a stag in rut sounds like a bear. And we don't have those over here. Anyway, so what often happens when I'm taking clients into the mountains with me we talk about the history of uh, Salzburg land and Salzburg is famous for um, sound of music among other things Mozart Mozart Kugel chocolate with a marzipan inside of it but um, most people know about Salzburg because of Maria von Trapp and uh, and all those kids and of course, the Sound of Music movie. And what then happens is that I start singing. Now, I'm no um, Julie Andrews, big fan, but I'm no Julie Andrews. But uh, I thought I'd scare you and the horses and the cows by doing a little bit. It feels weird, but who cares? Oh, well. So here goes. The hills are alive with the sound of music, with songs I have sung, with songs they have sung for a thousand years. My heart will be blessed with the sound of music, and I'll sing once more. Do -do 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 -do. So that's what happens. I usually get the people that um, come into the mountains with me and are even slightly familiar with uh, the sound of music to sing with me. The men always feel a little bit funny when they, but I often can move them to do so. And um, most women join in with gusto. And um, as summer is drawing to a close here, or summer has drawn, drawn to a close, it's uh, pretty cold up here and pretty humid too. And um, it won't be long now, it's September. No, God, we've had snow already. It thankfully has disappeared, but uh, it might come back again. So um, there's not much hiking left in this year. Not, not many weeks of hiking left and then uh, the winter season starts and that's skiing and touring and 
snowshoe walking, although I don't do much of the latter because I usually am on skis in the winter. But the mountains are always beautiful and I'm always happy to be in there and I love it when I get to take other people into the mountains as well. So, have you seen The Sound of Music? Do you know the songs? Which one is your favorite? And uh, maybe one day you'll come to the Austrian Alps with me and we'll, we can stand in a mountain meadow like this and uh, I don't know, do Do Re Mi or The Hills Are Alive with The Sound of Music or Edelweiss is another favorite that most people know. And we can sing those songs together and scare the mountain wildlife like marmots and deer and the cows and the horses too. As always people, go there greatly. Bye bye.